right, folks, here's something you rarely see. A group gathered outside of a courthouse in support of an accused cop killer. Karen Reed is her name, and this is Dedham, Massachusetts. The victim in the case is uh, named John O'Keefe. He was a Boston police officer, 46 years old, 16-year uh, vet of the, of the uh, Boston PD, um, was taking care of his nie niece and his nephew after the sudden death of his sister and brother-in-law. So he was basically acting as, as a father. Um, here's the house where he was found. Take a look. Uh, January 29th, 2022, um, Brian Albert was a fellow officer. It was his house. John O'Keefe went there after a night of drinking. Uh, it was a cold night. Once he got there, it started snowing. It was a blizzard. Uh, he was supposed to go inside for an after party, and the state says he never got inside. That's because Karen Reed, his girlfriend, um, there she is, has been charged with his murder. They say that she purposely struck him with her car and then left him to die outside in the cold. Um, but she's claiming she's innocent, and she's saying it was someone in the house that did it at this police after-hours party, and that police are covering the whole thing up. Now, I showed you the protest out front. Uh, the man who's leading that protest is this man. He goes by the name Turtle Boy. Uh, he was on this program. Uh, he has a very popular blog that discusses the case very often. He has spearheaded these protests and has advocated for Karen Reed since the beginning. And he told me it was because of some of the evidence that he heard in the case. And he's pointing the finger at police uh, and people who were inside there that night. And he talks about these people specifically all the time. Well, guess what? Turtle Boy now was arrested last Wednesday, charged with eight felony counts of intimidating a witness uh, a juror, court official, or police officer in one count of conspiracy. And there is Turtle Boy with his free Karen Reed sweatshirt on being released from custody. Wow, the case that was so huge just got even bigger. Uh, Massachusetts versus Karen Reed trial set to begin on March 12th, 2024. Of course, we'll be there. Um, just have a few moments here to talk about. Let's bring back in now one Darnell Cross from Jennifer Brandt. Um, Jennifer Brandt, this is a case where you've got someone who is saying there's a police conspiracy and then he gets arrested. Do you think the public is going to think there's more of a conspiracy or less of a conspiracy now? Absolutely, Vinny. I mean, it is ironic, isn't it? Because he's talking about how the police covered this up and then he ends up arrested. I think it just helps his cause. Um, so, but we don't know what he was actually doing. Was he obstructing justice? Was he, you know, getting in the way or intimidating witnesses? We don't know all the facts, but um, certainly he's passionate about this case. And it's amazing that someone would be so dedicated when he's really not, doesn't seem to have any vested interest in it. No, he's, um, he's, not, than, he's not related to anyone. I mean, he has a very popular, no than, very popular, uh, thing going on, on on YouTube and other places. Um, let me ask you, Al, witness intimidation. Um, this is not a party to the case. This is kind of unusual for an outsider, someone not connected to the case, to be it charged is, with witness is, intimidation. But this is what's happened with these podcasts that have gone on and these people with the true crime uh, looks into all these different things, they become part of the case. And then they use this to garner what is their theme of the case and therefore they can go after witnesses go after uh police and and try to embarrass them or try to scare them uh by bringing their names up talking about them on this and they've got a very good amount of people listening to this show and it, it's it's very intimidating and, and it's something we've never seen before it's intimidating because but is it a crime or is it the first amendment well, it, the thing is, is this, it, it, it's a fine line with regards to the First Amendment aspect of it. And that may be a very good point. But if you're going to scare someone to, from testifying based on, uh, you know, the, the publicity and things like that, what's the difference between that and a guy, you know, with a with a crooked nose just telling him, if you get on the stand, you're never going to get out of the, you know, you're never going to get out alive. 
Yeah. There's no difference. That's all what right. protecting. Darnell, you have 10 seconds here. What, what are your thoughts about the way this has all transpired in 10 seconds or less? 10, ten seconds. Um, yelling fire in a crowded movie theater, typically, as we learned in law school, that's not free speech. That's inciting a riot. What he's doing and what other podcasters are doing are giving a voice to those that need a voice, and that's not a crime. 